Hey, how's it going everyone? Grakir here, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys manga shopping with me at my local Indigo. Indigo is basically the Canadian equivalent of Barnes & Noble for all the American viewers, and I actually made a video similar to this a few months back where I went to my local chapters and bought some manga there. If you're interested in checking that video out, I'll have it linked in the description down below. Anyways, let's get right into it. All right guys, so this is the store's first manga section, the teen manga. Usually this is where they keep a lot of the like Shonen Jump type of stuff, like Black Clover, for example. I think this is the Bleach Light novels that came out a while back. They got Boruto, a few random volumes of Card Capture Sakura. The thing about buying like long running shonen at a bookstore is that you're very unlikely to find like the earlier volumes. Like say like Dragon Ball for example, they have four, three, eight, nine of the Viz Bigs. So if you wanted to get like the earlier ones, you're probably more likely to have to go to uh, just an online website like Write Stuff or. Uh, Barnes & Noble or Indigo if you're in Canada, their online marketplace. They got some Dragon Ball Super volumes, some Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone's a great anime for those that haven't checked it out yet. Full Metal Alchemist, the Full Metal Editions, these are really nice, but they cost quite a bit if you buy them at a bookstore. And they got like the regular three-in-ones. They got some volumes of Haikyuu, also great anime manga. Although I haven't read the ending yet. Maybe they'll make another season one day, but I don't know at this point. And they got some Komi Can't Communicate volumes. My sister's really into this, but I heard that there's actually an anime coming out, or it might have already started. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys know anything about that. They got some Kuroko's Basketball, great anime. And down here, they got some of the Legend of Zelda manga, some My Hero Academia. I never actually watched the rest of the newest season. I watched like the first few episodes, but I didn't really check out what happened later on. I heard some mixed opinions, so let me know in the comments if what you guys thought about it, if you watched it. We got some One Piece. I have, I have to catch up on this, guys. I haven't read it for like a few months, and I heard it's, it got really good recently. But yeah, this is like the latest volume, 97. And I think 100 just came out in Japan recently as well, actually. They got some Promised Neverland. Heard some... I watched the first season for this and I liked it, but then I never got around to watching the second one because I heard it was kind of bad because of how much material they skipped in the anime. But yeah, I heard the manga is okay. Got some Samurai 8, which is uh, by the creator of Naruto, actually Masashi Kishimoto, but it was canceled pretty early on in, in its run. Because I think that only these five volumes came out actually, in like in total. <laughs> so, but I know, like, I understand that a lot of people like this, but obviously like it just wasn't selling enough. So they had to ax it, you know, this is how it is sometimes. And then going down here, they got some Spy Family, which is like one of the biggest series out right now. This is like selling out like really fast. So I think this is the newest one. So they just happen to have it here. They have a few copies of it. My sister's into this as well, but it's really hard to find certain volumes right now. I think she only has like the first one. And they have some random volumes of Toriko. Never, I never got into this, but it's one of those things that I might read one day. I think it's on the Shonen Jump app. Which, if you guys don't know about it, it's just an app where you can read a lot of like the Shonen Jump back catalogs, so, like Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, stuff like that. Like really long manga that would cost a lot to collect physically. I think it's like the first two weeks are free. You get a free trial. And then I think later on you pay like a dollar to a month for the subscription to be able to read like most of the Shonen Jump stuff that came out in like the last 20 years pretty much. And then they got Yono the Dawn. I heard this is really great as well, but I just never really got into it. I might watch the anime one day. And going down, I think that's all the manga they have in the teen section. Let's jump right into the regular manga section where they keep a lot of these seinen stuff. All right guys, so this is where they keep the bulk of their manga. This is just what they're showcasing right now at the end. Let's get right into the main area. So they got some of the Akira manga, the Attack on Titan Colossal Edition, Berserk, the hardcover editions, and the uh, Blade of the Immortal Master Collection, I believe. The 20th Century Boys, Viz Signatures, 21st Century Boy, 86. I believe this became like a really popular anime recently, but I haven't gotten a chance to check it out yet. And they got some more series right here. Ajin, pretty good anime if you guys haven't seen it. It's on Netflix. They got the Ancient Magnus Bride. Some other stuff over here. Aria by released by Tokyo Pop actually. If you've been collecting manga for a while or you collect older series, then you probably know more about this company. And also I think it's pretty common to see Tokyo Pop manga in Germany, I believe. 
So shout out to any German viewers if they're watching this. I got some more series here. They got a lot of volumes of Attack on Titan, but they're missing like a lot of the ones in the middle kind of and the beginning. Great anime, I don't think I need to say any more about that. Wasn't really the biggest fan of the ending, but I still enjoyed it really like a lot overall. They got some other stuff over here. They got Beastars. Still have yet to check out Beastars as well. Got a lot of other stuff. Black Butler, shout out to Sea Dog VA. Putting people onto that series. Got a lot of stuff here, Blood Lad. They have more Blade of the Immortal up here, some Blam, some Clover, some Fairy Tale, a lot of other manga that I haven't really heard of. They got Cells at Work, which is a pretty interesting series if you guys haven't checked it out. I recommend it. They got Citrus, which is probably one of the few Yuri manga that I actually know about. They have City by Keichi Arawi, which I believe this is by the same creator of Nichijo. The style is very distinct, which is another anime that's great. I think the manga is kind of hard to find nowadays, but I recommend it if you can find it. Then we got some more stuff over here. Dungeon Meshi. An employee just walked by me, it was kind of awkward. Uh, we got Don't Toll With Me, Miss Nagatoro-san. I'm sure you guys have heard of that. Drifting Dragons. The Drifting Classroom. Do Ra 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 Ra. I believe this is the light novels and the manga. It's an okay anime, but it's like... You don't really need to watch it. I recommend Bakuno, which is by the same creator of the light novel. He created both series. I'd recommend that over Do Ra Ra Ra. But if you have the time, I'd check out both if, if you have the time for it. They got Eden Zero, uh, Hiramashima's other newest manga. And then they have Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest by Hiramashima. Then they got regular Fairy Tale manga. They got some more stuff over here. They have the Helsing Deluxe Edition. I believe this is actually the. Okay, it's so Volume 2. I was going to say Volume 1, but it says right there. They got Fire Force. They actually have the first volume. This is by the same creator of Soul Eater, but I'm sure more, most of you guys already know that. But yeah, like they had the first one and the 18th one. This is kind of how it is for a lot of shonen manga when you go to the bookstore. Oh, they have the Fist of the North Star. I actually might pick this up. Very interested in this manga. They just recently re-released it. Because I bet um, I believe we've never actually gotten like a full release of the entire series in English. So it's cool that we're finally getting that. They have a lot of volumes of Shokugeki no Soma, Food Wars, Gantz. Like the this is the really ugly. <laughs> Yeah, it's the really ugly Omnibus one by Dark Horse. I'm not a fan of this, man. They got some more series down here. Sorry if I'm going too fast, guys. Just kind of awkward to film in public like this. Just how it is sometimes. They got Grand Blue. Heard a lot of good stuff about that. And they got some stuff over here, some Tokyo Pop manga. We got some Hatsune Miko manga right there for all you Vocaloid fans. We got some more stuff down here. A lot of the stuff. Oh, Arslan Senki. This is an alright anime, but it ended like right in the like middle of a really big arc. And I think this is actually about the same creator of uh, like the manga is drawn by uh, what's her name, Hiromo Arakawa, the creator of Silver Spoon and Full Metal Alchemist. Both great series. I recommend both of them. But yeah, the anime ended in like the middle of an arc. Sorry guys, there's an employee right there, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> but yeah, the anime for that series ended in the middle of a weird arc where it was like about to be a big battle. And it just never concluded the story. But yeah, the series was Arslan Senki. It was written by the creator of... Uh, it's the anime that a lot of people recommend but nobody really watches. What's it called? Oh. Man, I'm having a really time, hard time remembering it. Uh, I'll let you guys know if I remember it, but I can't recall it right now. But yeah, it was written by, or it was drawn by Hiromu Arakawa, a great mangaka. So they got some more stuff up here. They got some series right here. We're about to get up to the good stuff, guys, so stay tuned for that. It's coming up soon. I remember when this series was really popular. 
is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon like five years ago or something when it first when the anime first came out it was like the biggest like series out at the time but nowadays like i don't hear as many people talking about it at least on like the places where i check out anime see this is what i was talking about guys they got the jojo hardcovers the jojoniums and just then this is like not like jojonium i bet it i've heard that it only actually went up to part uh three in japan but we got similar releases for the rest of the parts in english oh jujutsu kaisen volume 12 that cover will probably get me demonetized but it's all good they got some more they got like 100 copies of volume 12 right here because they sell out super fast it's one of the hottest series out right now same with the uh, chainsaw man oh no i thought that was something else sorry guys i'm looking for a kaiji or kaiju like the game the gambling manga one of my fan friends spoke very highly of it so i'm hoping that they had it but I, I didn't see it anywhere here unless i just skip right past it yeah so far i've only seen like a few things that i'm actually really interested in oh they have some rumihiko takahashi manga the creator of inuyasha and ranma have and Masani Koku and uh, Mao. I believe this is her newest manga. She has a very distinct style, but I just really like never really got into her stuff other than Inuyasha, which I watched a lot of when I was a kid. But yeah, her her artwork's very like distinct. You can tell when you see it. Mob Psycho, another great anime manga series. I prefer it over One Punch Man, to be honest. W let me know what you guys think about both series in the comments down below. I got some of the Monogatari franchise light novels here. Never really got into this either yet. I just never bothered to learn the watch order, to be honest. I'm sure there's videos and like forum posts about it to learn how to read it. All right, so. Teyu Matsumoto, I've heard a lot of uh, this person's works are really great. Just never got into it yet, which seems to be a common theme, I guess. I'm honestly, I've always been more of an anime watcher than a manga reader, but I'm kind of getting more into an manga these days. But obviously this season, there's a lot of great anime out. Then they got some One Punch Man. They have Orient, which is a series by the same creator of Magi, the Labyrinth of Magic. It's their newest work. I have the first three volumes already, but I am going to pick up volume four today. It's the newest one that I didn't pick up yet. And I'm going out. So, so far, I've only picked up one manga so far. I mean, to be honest, I don't want to spend too much money because I'm trying to save up for some YouTube gear that I'm trying to get. Stuff like that costs a lot and you can't be buying too much manga at once because that really adds up quickly. Quintessential Quint Chocolates. I believe the box set's coming out soon on Amazon. You can get it for like half price, so I recommend just getting it there if you're interested in this series. Uh, going down, we got some other stuff there. Uh, rent a girlfriend. Uh, Paolo from Tokyo, another YouTuber, actually made a video where he followed. It goes like a day in the life of this mangaka. So, I mean, I'm sure you guys have already probably seen it, but if you're interested in the series, I recommend check checking that out. I have a link in the description down below for anyone that's interested in that. Rising of the Shield Hero. Another popular series. Oh, they have uh, Saint Young Men. I believe they have the first volume over there as well. This has been a series that it follows uh, Jesus and Buddha in Tokyo, like as if they were roommates, I guess. And it's like a slice of life manga that's pretty interesting. The volumes just cost a lot, so I never bought any of them yet. But if they ever go on sale, I might check out the series. I don't think there's an anime for it, but there might be. They have Sayuki. They have some, uh, I believe this is by Junji Ito. Yeah, it is. Oh, Seven Deadly Sins, man. <laughs> I remember when this was like one of the biggest anime out. Now it kind of just ended and people don't really talk about it anymore. But I watched the first two seasons and I thought it was okay. It's a pretty basic shonen, shonen but you can just kind of turn your brain off and check it out. But I, I, I get why you wouldn't be into it as well. It's just a hit or miss for a lot of people. And then they have Shaman King. I bought the first Omnibus last time I was here. And they have four, five, and six. I might actually get this, but I haven't decided yet. I don't know if I want to buy seven, eight, nine yet. They're already up to 12, I guess, which is pretty far into the series. 
It's like the first third of it, I think. Uh, they have a silent voice, which I already own. Man. It is, oh, they have the Soul Eater Perfect Edition. I think it's just hard to keep up with, like, if you buy multiple series at once. Because some of them can be, like, super long. That time I got reincar- or, uh, Sweat and Soap. I don't know why I said that, uh, the slime anime. Uh, I might actually get this as well. My sister doesn't have the second volume. They have, uh, in volume 9, which is pretty far into the series. Might pick up the second volume for that. We got some more stuff over here. Th this is this is what I was talking about. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. They have that as well. And they got some more stuff over here. Toilet Bound Hanukkah Kun. This is a really popular anime series right now as well. Tokyo Ghoul, but I recommend getting the box set for this series. We're coming up on the end now, guys. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, they have two Love Rue, which this is actually drawn by the same uh, art illustrator as Black Cat. Black Cat's one of my, like, it's kind of like a hidden gem for a battle shonen. It came out around the same time that Naruto and Bleach and One Piece were, like, really gaining popularity, so it's kind of forgotten about. But I really recommend Black Cat as well if you can, like, you can read it on the Shonen Jump app that I mentioned previously. If you don't want to have, because some of the volumes are really hard to find for that series as well. But he illustrated two Love Rue as well, so that's why a lot of the character designs look very similar. They have Undead Unlock. Urusei Yatsura, which I believe is also by Rumihiko Takahashi. Vinland Saga, great anime and manga. I recommend it if you haven't seen it. Then they got some other stuff here. The Way of the House Husband, great manga series. We Never Learn. Some more series over here. All right, guys, so we're coming up on the last couple of rows. They just got some other volumes here, Wolf Children. A great one volume manga. I believe there's also a movie. And then some other series. They have Wotakoi. And then they also have volume 15 of Yotsuba, which is another series that I came here to get. This guy, uh, Kiyohiko Azuma, I think he created one of the best, it's like one of the best slice of life manga series out there. It just gets updated very like infrequently. Like, there's maybe like one new volume like every two or three years, but I really look forward to whenever a new volume of this comes out. So I'm definitely gonna pick that up today as well. All right guys, so I just got home. Sorry about the abrupt cut. There's just a lot of people walking around near the manga section while I was at the store. So it would have been really awkward to try to film the outro while I was there, but I'll just do it here. Basically, I just ended up picking up Yotsuba Volume 15 and Orient Volume 4. So two ongoing series. I didn't really want to start collecting any new series in my collection because I already have a lot of manga on my TBR list and I just don't have as much time as I'd like to read as much as I'd want to. So I kind of just got to keep my focus on the few series that I am collecting that are ongoing at the moment. Anyways, I'm really happy with the choices that I made and I'm looking forward to reading these manga. If you guys enjoyed watching then please leave a like as it really helps the channel out and also subscribe so you're notified when I post new content. Thank you all for watching and I hope that y'all have a wonderful day.